Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before we start today, uh, thank you for having me. I will introduce myself. My name is Aiman Hanafi bin Muhammad Fauzi. Today, I will represent. I will present. Uh, my title will be assessment of seed quality of contrasting rice seed cultivar. My abstract ID will be number ninety. All right. To the next one. Uh, so in intro for introduction. Uh, we can see that paddy has uh is a uh, categorized as annual crop. Uh, to plant you know, most on the specific time to achieve a uh, maximum yield. So we also know that aerobic uh, paddy mainly or uh, mainly produced in well drainage and non puddle, non puddle and non saturated soil, which specifically under water limitation. So uh. Most as the food demand increase in uh, human population, the production of high seed quality for the future use become a great concern for most of the agronomists. Uh, we can see that in 2019, Wahab report that uh, Malaysia only can meet 20% uh, of national food of demand in the country. Nevertheless, improvement of technology are needed uh, to meet the demand growing population. So as date to date, the climate change condition water uh, climate climate condition and water scarcity give a significant impact on the yield and the quality of the paddy so the environment stress such as high temperature and drought as if and drought stress as a factor in seed quality performance which uh, be improved by be improved by city and at least in 2019 does decrease the productivity of yield of component does decrease the productivity of yield component. So, uh, uh, for the next one, uh, for my research, uh, research objectives is to examine the rice seed quality under the elevated temperature during the early stage of uh, seedling or vegetative phase. Uh, the second one will be to determine the yield component of uh, yield component of the paddy as affected by high temperature. Uh, the last one will be discover the effect of environmental stress on the seed quality and the yield component of the flooding rice under aerobic cultivation. So to the next one. So the material I will be using is with two aerobic rice variety and non aerobic rice variety. So for the aerobic rice uh, variety, I obtained on Mardi or Malaysia Agriculture Research Development and Institute. Uh, the variety I obtained were Aeron and Aerob 1. Uh, so for the non aerobic, will be, I will be used on mr 2 ocl which being uh, obtained on PPK Kedah. So for the experiment, uh, was conducted on plant science and seed technology, seed tech technology. A laboratory on UATM campus Jasin. And as for the as for the field experiment will be held on the greenhouse or greenhouse field plotted located in UATM also. So these are the several picture that uh, can show that uh, aerobic uh, variety and non aerob non aerobic variety. So for the next one, for the experiment one, is to determine the seed germination under growth under growth chamber. So the growth chamber was used to test the germination capacity of the germination and the vigor index. So we can see that uh, this uh, variety were set up on the uh, twelve hour of twelve hour of forty degrees in daylight and twenty eight degrees Celsius in or indicate the night mode. So, next one will be held on the experiment two, was conducted in 2020, and is uh, most of it uh, filled with 250 pots, and we uh, has a, uh, and every week, and be held for, and progress, Weekly progress of the seedling was observed and recorded uh, for two weeks or 14 days. For all, for entire for entire two weeks, uh, all the temperature and humidity was recorded using a data logger 
of Alitech GSP uh, 6. So for the next one, so we can see that uh, result and discussion, we can see that uh, AROP 1 and MR2 germination capacities, uh, MR220 CL germination capacity, speed germination and vigor index does not give significant to each, uh, each other variety. But somehow, uh, AROP 1 give a better performance in germination capacity, speed germination. But the MR220 CL give better vigor index. It's because uh, due to the growth chamber, which receive a uh, uniform light requirement of the and the best temperature to pursue growth as compared to the field plot, uh, condition and temperature in variety. Temperature is varied and difficult to control. Sorry. Uh, it's also helped that uh, control environment helps to promote uh, better gibberling, which helps to trigger amylose synthesis during the emergent stage. So, uh, this show that uh, the lower the temperature reduce the production of gibberling were affected during the germination process. This also that regulate temperature help to synthesis amylase during germination process. However, good humidity help helps to increase the chance of seed to grow in adequate environment. So for the on the field environment, we can see that uh, there uh, was significant difference between the AROP1 and MR220 uh, in during in February 2020 in table two. As for the AROP1, AROP1 and the AROP2, in terms of germination capacity, there were no significant. Thus, show that aerobic rice can tolerate uh, in hot weather with the same amount of water with MR2 to OCL. So this show that aerobic rice can tolerate with water stress. So uh, we can see that uh, water stress can be one of the major of uh, environment factor limiting the germination crop itself. So uh, adequate water of uh, is needed uh, for the aerobic rice to for that nitrogen uptake. Uh, to decrease as the water supply decrease. So water germination, water supply is important for germination process to cope with another factor allowed to seed germinate, to germinate as to compare the germination capacity on the January. Uh, the germination is quite high to compare to the October. So the heat stress occur helps to increase the tolerance stage uh, to produce a better yield and in better yield index, which help to increase the seed itself. So conclusions uh, state that, uh, can see that many stress can cause uh, seed germination to early distort uh, to, due to tolerance to the stress. So the current result is important for the next or on this experience stay ongoing for further impulse to the drop, heat and stress during the reproductive stage to determine rice productivity and seed quality for both greenhouse and field plot. So it's very uh, beneficial for information to the farmer to enhance their rice productivity as well as the rice quality for the next growing season, particularly in dry season. So this uh where the experiments are ongoing. I will show some of the picture. So final arrangement, thank you the MOHE for giving this opportunity. So my reference, that's all from me. Thank you. Uh, I hope to see you guys on 24th of uh, August for question and answer. Thank you.